Welcome to Hubscapes. I'm Fran Jarnine, and I'm standing in one of the neighborhoods of the city of Boston called South Boston. Today, we'd like to talk to you about a very famous place that many, many seniors, older Bostonians, older Americans, just remember and love because it had a lot of good memories for them. I'm talking about Blindstrom's. That's right, old-fashioned Blinnies that was here in Southie for many, many, many years. The family was very prosperous, but Stanley wanted more out of life, and it led him to a more exciting path. He wanted to find and do something. One day, he saw a shattered restaurant here in South Boston. He presented the idea to his family, we should buy this place and buy this restaurant. It was on the corner of West Broadway and D Street. It started with sandwiches for five cents, dinners 25 cents. And his idea was to find out what the people wanted to make sure it was served better than anyone else. Eventually, he leased the next building and expanded to 150 seats and then to 350 seats for the nightclub. But then in 1929, the crash came and disaster struck. Stanley was left with only the defaulted restaurant. In 1934, though, Stanley worked many hours because he had another idea to open up that restaurant as a big club for New Year's Eve. Destiny took over, and it just blossomed with success. In 1952, against all the advice of his family and friends, he said, I'm going to go after big name entertainers with big performance stars. Mr. Blimstrom paid high prices for his entertainers, and he actually got the best. He was unbelievable. There was no off-color jokes, no bad costumes, right? and no swearing at all by all the entertainers. He wanted people to understand that when they came here, they came to enjoy themselves, and spend their money on themselves, and have fun. Stanley had many favorite artists that he had all the time. Top, Nat King Cole. And some of the famous entertainers were Sammy Davis Jr., of course Frank Sinatra, the McGuire sisters, Three Degrees, Robert Goulet, who came right here from Massachusetts, Four Aces, Johnny Mathis, Gordon McRae, Connie Francis, Frankie Lane, I mean, we could go on, Eddie Fisher. And many of the people out here who are watching this can even say more of the stars that they saw for special events. But you know, disaster struck Stanley Blimstrom's when he was 70 years old, right here on the corner of West Broadway and D Street. The beautiful old Blimstrom's tragic night in February, fire struck the whole nightclub. Stanley did not have insurance on the property. According to the reports, Jimmy Durante was going to be performing that week, and he had shipped all his costumes, information, music arrangements. It was $10,000 worth of stuff that was lost. The biggest shock was that people just could not believe that he was such a big businessman, but he didn't have insurance. Cardinal Cushion decided to hold a big fundraiser, and they had this at Boston Gardens. Many, many famous people came, and they raised $100,000 with Mike Douglas as the MC, But you know what? He couldn't get it together. Everything cost so much. The stars now, the prices were so exorbitant. He just could not rebuild. So what he did, he joined his brother at Blimstrom's Old Colony House in Dorchester. 